Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm sharing a recipe that's perfect if you have some Thanksgiving leftovers. I'm making a very quick and easy turkey pot pie, and I'm actually making one for tonight and one to freeze for later. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with about four cups of leftover turkey meat. Now, if you don't have any leftover turkey, you could also use a rotisserie chicken. That would be excellent. I'm also using one 16 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Now, if you have leftover Thanksgiving vegetables, you could also use those. I'm also using a one pound bag of shredded potatoes. Now these are not frozen potatoes and they're shredded very finely. That way they cook all the way through in my pot pie. Now since I'm making two pot pies, I'm also going to be using two containers of condensed cream of chicken soup. And if you'd like to, you can also use the kind that comes in a can. I'm also using half of this yellow onion, one egg, two cloves of fresh garlic, and about half a teaspoon of fresh rosemary. Now if you don't have fresh rosemary, you could also use dried, but I have a lot of this growing in the backyard, so I wanted to use it up. You're also going to want to add some salt and pepper to taste. And then there's the pie crusts. You're going to need four of them. Now you could definitely make your own, but I'm gonna take some help from the store here because I actually need a gluten-free pie crust for my family, but you can use any pie crust you prefer. I'm going to start by chopping up my turkey. I want really small pieces here. Next, I'm going to put the turkey back into the bowl and prepare my other ingredients. I'm going to make sure to chop my rosemary pretty finely because a big piece of rosemary can be very strong. And I'm going to add this into the bowl with the turkey. Next, I'm going to prepare my onion. And I'm actually going to grate about half of this onion directly into the bowl. I like to grate it so that I know it'll cook really fast in my pot pie. Next, I'm going to crush two cloves of garlic directly into the bowl. Now definitely, you could use garlic powder here if you'd like, but I really like the freshness of the fresh garlic. Next, in a large mixing bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and add my turkey, my onions, and my garlic. To this, I'm going to add all of my fresh potatoes, my mostly defrosted vegetables, and both containers of my condensed cream of chicken soup. And finally, some salt and pepper to taste. Just keep in mind that the condensed soup is actually pretty salty, so don't overdo it. Now just stir to combine. Next, I'm going to use a fork to puncture two of the pie crusts, just all over the bottom to make sure the crust doesn't bubble up. Next, as evenly as I can, I'm gonna go ahead and divide the pot pie mixture between both of our crusts. And I'm going to go ahead and pat this down with my spatula. Now it's time for our other two pie crusts. Now very gently, I'm gonna to try to loosen this from the pan. Now I have to tell you guys, because I'm using a gluten-free crust, this is a little bit trickier because gluten-free crust is a little bit delicate, so I have to be really careful here. But if you're using a regular pie crust, go ahead and just loosen it from the pan, just like this. Then I'm gonna quickly flip it over and add it to the top of our pie. Now, if it doesn't come out perfectly, don't worry. Just go ahead and stretch it out. Lay it as flat as you can. And you're going to do the same thing with the other pie. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the crust of my pie. I want the top layer to be stuck to the bottom layer. You can do this any way you prefer. I know that there's some really fancy ways, but I'm just gonna use my fork. And I'm gonna repeat this on my other pie as well. Next, I'm going to take one beaten egg and using a silicone brush, I'm just going to coat the top of the pie. And this is gonna help make it look really pretty. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and add some steam vent holes, just like this, four on each pie. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up one of the pies for the freezer. And the other pie I'm going to add to a preheated oven at 375 degrees for about 40 to 55 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. Now if your crust is getting too dark, you can always cover it with some aluminum foil. And once it's cooled down, you can dig in. Uh. 
Okay friends, if you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below, what do you like to do with your Thanksgiving leftovers? Now, if you'd like to see last Wednesday's video, you can click on the link right up here. And if you'd like to see another video from me, you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.